Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over how you can upload files to your Shopify product pages from your Shopify admin here. I'll be going everything in a step-by-step -step format so you can follow along with me and understand the overall process, and overall should only be a few steps here. So I wanna say before we go into it, if you're enjoying the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below that really helps the channel out. Let's dive into it now. We're gonna be on the Shopify admin on the back end. I'm on the home section for this demo Shopify store here. Now to upload your files, you simply wanna to go to the left-hand side and under this new tab content, there will be a files tab here. And from here, you can upload any files you're looking for to your Shopify store. In terms of the types of files you can upload, it can be images and videos using your theme, blog posts or pages. You have images and videos used in your product and collection descriptions. You also have files and videos that you wanna make available for customers to download, as well as images and files connected to Metafield. So those are the types of files you can upload here. So to upload a file, you simply wanna to go to the top right, click upload files. I'm gonna select a random file here. This one is just gonna be a generic screenshot and you should see an uploading in the bottom right. Once that's done, you'll see your upload here. I can see mine is just a screenshot. Something to note about these files is you can have a link here and you can then embed if you want to as well. So I'm just gonna copy this link for reference. I'm gonna go over to the product section to access a product page. So I'm gonna open up this random product here. This is the men's classic tee. Now to embed these files onto the product page, you have several different options here. You can select one of these pre-built tabs here. So you have insert image. So I can see my uploaded files are here. So if I wanted to select this at an alt tag, I'm gonna leave this as image. I can then insert this image here. So that's how you upload an image there. One of the options was to create a file for users to download. What you could additionally do is embed a link here, say download this file here. And then what I can do is hover over this, selecting the here, go up to insert link at the top, and I can click on, or sorry, paste this file that I previously copied from the file section. And I'm gonna say open this up in a new window. And I'll just title this download file and click insert link. So once I hit save there, that's gonna create a link to then access said file. So if I go over to the product page here, I can see the screenshot that I uploaded within the product description. I also have the download this file here. Clicking on this will open up a new tab with the image that I linked. Alternatively, you can link files there and those should download after clicking that link. Or end this video, I wanna thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for and you're gonna get real-time calculations on how profitable your store actually is, as well as a variety of different detailed analytics so you can really understand your store's true performance. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get real-time understanding of how your business is performing you can integrate things such as all your ad accounts, and there are quite a few different cost of goods sold methods. There's also gonna be a variety of different analytic reports here, so you can get different breakdowns on your store's financial performance. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial. You can test drive everything for yourself. If you also search Profit Calc on the Shopify app store and look for this logo here, you can access the 15-day trial there as well. So this is gonna conclude the video here on how you can upload files to Shopify. Overall, it's gonna involve going to the file section, uploading your files there, and then going to your products and inserting them where you deem relevant. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below if you've made it here all the way to the end. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.